Alright, what is up? This is Slow Playthroughs. We're back some more Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D The Hero Lock Challenge. So, in the last episode, all we did was go through the Shadow Temple. Uh, once again, a very terrifying temple, in my opinion. And plus, the rain outside just made it ten times better, you know? But, uh, yeah, we actually completed it. Defeated Bongo Bongo very easily and just effortlessly. It was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah. Saw Impa, and she was like, hey, I'm gonna give you this Shadow Medallion. We were like, alright, cool. So, yeah, we got our fifth medallion and our fourth one that we've actually earned by ourselves so that's amazing and uh yeah in this part we're just going to be going to gerudo fortress i mean not really much else to say about that it's just going to be a simple little thing and uh, link's just like turning around like would you say we're going to gerudo fortress man i don't want to go there but yeah uh before we get started guys do me a huge favor hit that like button to try to reach 15 likes that'd be amazing and i really appreciate it guys so yeah let's go ahead and venture on through so i'm at the entrance of gerudo valley so, uh, let's see. Let's enter it. All right. Yeah, Gerudo Valley. Very cool place. You know, we got this little little pond area with a stream going on there. I like it. So, yeah, I think you just <laughs> you just jump over it. You could probably do it with the hook shot, too, but you want Epona to be with you because Epona's awesome and stuff like that. But yeah, in this general area, uh, we have just a few rocks and stuff that we can break and... Uh, I probably won't do that now because I'll just waste time, which I'm actually doing right now by just running around. But the Carpenters men are actually locked up. They got, like, jailed from the Gerudos or whatever, which is pretty funny because it just makes no sense why this just happens out of nowhere. But let's go ahead and enter Gerudo Fortress. This is the basic hub area of uh, the Gerudos. This is where I guess they live. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> not really too sure if they live here or not. But uh, I'm not liking this orange tint that's been going on with the uh, thing. So let's go ahead and change that to a lively, you know, not a very, I don't, I'm not a fan of warm colors. I mean, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. So this is more of a cool color. So, I mean, that's nice, but it's too dark. I like it when it's morning, you know, very more positive. Got to have that good positive energy flowing through the game and... It's good for the heart, you know? <laughs> Man, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I, I sound like so silly and weird. It's hilarious. But, uh, yeah, you want to not do that. Don't get too caught. <laughs> Immediately when I start this, I, I just get caught by here. But, yeah, so I guess it shows what happens when you get caught. You literally get thrown into a gel cell. And then one of the Gerudos say, Stupid kid, get in there and keep quiet. Okay. You want me to keep quiet? Well, you know what I have to say to you? Screw you, because I can just exit this part. <laughs> oh my god, these Gerudos are so stupid. This is what I like to do to Gerudos, you know? I like to hit them. <laughs> and I found out that these, the arrows, actually, uh, I don't want to say really do more damage. I mean, they... they Paralyze them for a longer time, longer periods of time, so. It's better than the hook shot. Uh, there's nothing over here yet, so. Basically, this guy's like, hey, you, young man, come over here. Look over in here and inside the cell. Okay, okay, all right, sure, dude, what's going on? So talk to one of the carpenters, and basically he's saying he has no idea. Okay, read this dialogue and tell me this doesn't make sense or if it does. I have no idea where you come from, but you have... You must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. I have no idea where you come from. Is that even like basic English right there? Wouldn't it be, I have no idea where you came from? Like, what? Okay, so all, all his fellow carpenters have been imprisoned, I guess. And he's saying, be careful, there's a Gerudo guard somewhere. Whoa, watch out. So we got one Gerudo guard right here. Basically, you can just spin attack the whole time. And uh, you do not want to get caught by her. So that's what happens if you get hit. You actually... Uh, that's like the spin attack kind of thing that she has, okay? So I don't really know what to call it. I mean, it, it's basically a spin attack. But uh, I just wanted to show what happens if you actually get hit by her. Because um, that that's kind of like the capture move right there. Once she does that, you're, you're kind of morally screwed because... Oh, crap. No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, yeah, you're, you're just going to get captured by her from that move. So you kind of want to block. Spin attacking is probably one of the best things to do. 
So, uh, yeah, we're gonna try it again. Uh. Or you could just play it safe whenever she does do the, uh, spin attack move or whatever. Kind of annoying, occasionally. But yeah, you wanna be quick on your feet. See, so... Kind of let her do her spin attack, and then whenever she's got that, uh... One moment of, like, immobility, or whatever, you just go for the kill right there. Just a nice slash attack. But yeah, you can also get her when, I think when she's doing, like, a backflip or whatever... So yeah, you gotta be really careful. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, chick! Hurry up! Super annoying, because they're... You just gotta be really patient with this enemy, like... They're really annoying. But yeah, that's kind of what happens. It's kind of annoying, but... You just gotta keep going back and forth until you actually get it done correctly so uh yeah let's try it again if i can actually get out of here but yeah guru valley has some of the best music i mean it's got it's like probably one of the best soundtracks in the game probably just gonna keep going for the spin attack no uh! Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> you can literally just do this. Okay, I didn't know it was this crazy. She literally can't hit me at all. But yeah, it takes a few hits. And then there you go. You got a small key. That uh, kind of made up for lost time, so that's pretty good. I want to. I really do want to speed through this, because I don't really want to take too much time. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty easy. So, yeah, he's like, oh, yes, you, you saved me or whatever. They wanted to join... This female group of the Gerudos, which is super, just, it's just weird, like, why, it's, if it's an all-female group, why would you join? I mean, don't get me wrong, that, there's nothing wrong with trying to, uh, make friends, but, I don't understand why, like, why do you have to do this? Like, okay, because it's fun, or you enjoy it, like, what the hell, man? You gotta be careful over here, you gotta, uh... Shit, is there a Gerudo in this area? No, that's a way out. Shit! Gotta wait for him to come. I'm just gonna blast her away. It's a freaking arrow. Get your ass over here. Come on. Uh. <laughs> the sound effect. <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious. Yeah, it's all about the Z-targeting, you know? You know, you just gotta properly take care of these enemies, you know? You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm super saying? I swear to God, I say that way too much. It's getting annoying. <laughs> I think there's a... Uh, is there like a box over here or something like that? With like Skyward Sword Link? I don't know if it was over here, but I remember there was this one part where uh, you could like hit a box and... I think there was a Skyward Sword picture on there. It said a lot of Skyward Sword like references and stuff, which, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. Alright, so we're on the north side right here. I think we should jump down. We can just go ahead and fight another Gerudo. What is down here? Oh, wait, there's a... There's one of those other girls over here. Crap. Yep! I swear she was looking right at me. Oh my god, that's scary. Yeah, it's pretty scary sometimes. I mean, like, really. Is that a rupee? And it just disappeared. What the hell? What a waste. Kind of getting low on arrows. Ooh. Yeah, you see that? A freaking rupee just like disappears and shit like that. Like, what? Okay, so we got another carpenter dude. Talk to him. Again, I have no idea where you come from. <laughs> oh, goodness. Lord, have mercy on my soul, please. I think you can get her, like, cornered, basically. Yeah, she's pretty easy. I mean, they're all pretty easy if you just spin attack the hell out of them. I mean, like, they, they literally cannot get close to you. It's like a barrier. You're, you're like Ike using his up smash in a uh, brawl. It's super, super cheating. Only thing is, it's kind of slow. But, uh... 
Yeah. Let's go and talk to this dude. Jiro the carpenter. Okay. So we got two more that we got to save. Um, I think not the biggest problem isn't trying to kill the Gerudos. It's trying to freaking find where those guys are. Because this is like a maze. You're like a rat in a maze. I have no idea what to do. I mean, she's still like dead on the floor. But yeah, it, it's kind of confusing. Like, you, you don't know really where to go, how to access certain areas. But, uh... Okay, there's two more. I think... I think there's one in here. Let's check. Let's uh, check it out, man. Oh, crap. I don't think this is right. Or maybe it is. Hopefully it is. Yes, this is it. I think so. I was hoping for arrows, but... Probably... Not what's going to happen. Yes, there's another guy. I like how they're kind of color-coded. Makes sense. I mean, at least you know where... Like, you're going the right way. I have no idea where you come from. It should be like a freaking on a t-shirt. Like, that's that's amazing. I have no idea where you come from. From Jiro, the carpenter, or whatever. Yeah, but they soon start to get smart, and they use that uh, spin attack more often. Which uh, is kind of annoying, because... That's just... No. It's not good. See, look. Here it comes. But yeah. The spin attack lasts for a pretty good amount of time. So, if you just spam the hell out of it, you can literally, like... You can do pretty well. In uh, those certain types of situations. Saburu. What is his name? Saburu? Like, what kind of name is that? Alright, so we got one more carpenter to go. Uh, I'm probably gonna go back up here. Because I think if I go down again, um, I'm out of the place. And that's not what I want to do. But yeah, uh, it's it's crazy to think we've come actually this far in the game so far. I think I started this Let's Play uh, at the beginning of this month. And uh, this is probably going to be one of my quick, like, one of my fastest Let's Plays. I mean, finishing this within mo one month's time. I mean, uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. I mean, that shows... That I'm not wasting my time. I'm actually being productive. I'm not saying like, oh, YouTube videos are super productive or anything. I mean, of course, they're fun and they're enjoyable. But uh, <laughs> this dude's got an afro. It's hilarious. But uh, yeah, it's, it's great that, I mean, a good amount of you, I say, are actually enjoying the Let's Play so far. Damn it, I actually got hit that time. I wasn't spamming too well. But uh... Yeah, I mean, that, that's great that some of you are actually, you know, you guys are enjoying the video. I mean, I'm getting a lot better feedback than I did on uh, the Kirby game. I guess because I felt I felt the same way. The Kirby game actually got kind of stale to me. I was like, eh, no, please. I'm, I'm just like constantly uploading these videos and stuff. And I mean, not really anyone wants to watch it. And I do want to keep you guys entertained or whatever. But uh, at the same time, I was enjoying it. I really had a great time, like, let's playing the game. And I did not really want to uh, end it that quickly because I just didn't want to stop in the middle of the actual... What the hell? I wasn't even... Okay, this is stupid. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut over to where we previously were. I don't really think there's a reason to record that. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright, guys. So, I'm actually back over here in that area that I actually got, like, hit by. Which is freaking annoying, man. Super crap. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think th the reason why she actually got me is because this area is much larger. And I mean, she can kind of move around more. So it's kind of harder for me to actually spin attack without her, like, being in an enclosed space. So I'm hoping that she'll just die real quick so that I can just continue on with my freaking life. Yes, thank God. She was pretty close in getting me right there. She's got to be lucky. Um, Yeah, as I was saying about, like, you know, let's play kind of situation that's been going on uh yeah screw that guy for now i'm just gonna open these pots um yeah i actually you know never once felt like unmotivated to record or anything because to me this is this isn't something like oh hey i i have to upload or i i have to upload to keep people entertained and everything like that although i do want you guys to be entertained i mean i know a majority of my subscribers are pretty dead i mean i I don't have anything wrong with that, but, uh, hold on. We gotta see what this chick's talking about now. 
Seen your fine work to get past the guards here. You must have good thieving skills. Yes, 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 yes. So she, apparently she thought all men were useless except for Ganondorf, but not anymore because of us. So the exalted Naboru, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naboru is second in command in the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Uh, her headquarters are the spirit temple at the end of the desert. So uh, I guess we're one of them now. Sweet. All right, so we got the Gerudo token. As you can see on it is the most generic symbol that you see on almost everything uh which i mean that's pretty cool hey thanks but uh yeah um yeah sorry as i was saying you know i never really once felt like oh hey uh i don't really want to record or i'm getting tired of uh doing let's plays or whatever or anything like that i mean i honestly enjoy doing this i mean it's it's fun i i would never like, once think, oh, hey, I have to do this to make money or whatever like that. Like, it's it's crazy that this is actually, like, one of the most enjoyable things that I actually do in my life, really. I mean, I love hanging out with my friends and, you know, just spending time with family or whatever. Thing. But this is more of just kind of like, you know, a little escape. Like, a time for myself to just relax, unwind, play games, you know, just talk over them. I mean, it's it's sad that, like, I actually, like, you know just sit by myself in the room doing that but like you know sometimes i like to do stuff on my own just by myself occasionally you know like you got to get away from the drama like sometimes so it's it's pretty nice to record and stuff like that and actually have a decent amount not a crazy amount but you know some a good amount of people you know watch the video and like say hey this guy's actually entertaining so you know i'm really really lucky that i have uh some people that actually do that so that's great and uh, i will always appreciate that so sorry that was my little ramble i actually finished up what i was actually doing without even noticing but I tend to do that so thank you all so much for watching guys in the next part we're going to be going through uh what is it desert colossus yeah desert colossus and taking on the spirit temple as a child and then after that, that'll just be a separate video on its own. And then we'll go to the uh, final part of the Spirit Temple, which will be uh, the adult version of it, basically. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you all so much for watching again. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.